Hi, I'm Hank Green. I make a lot of science videos on SciShow, which means that I get to learn all kinds of surprising things. And that's one of the reasons I think illusions like this one are so fun. You get to think like a scientist and figure out how to explain something that seems impossible. Like an index card might seem small, but you can actually step right through the middle of it if you know a few tricks. Before you start this activity, pause the video and try to find a way to step through the middle of an index card by yourself. Then, once you're ready for the solution, I will show you how it works. To make this work, you'll need a 4x6 index card, scissors, and a ruler. It also might help to have some tape, just in case. First, fold the index card in half, like a hot dog bun, and then hold the folded edge toward you, like this. Next, measure about a quarter of an inch from the right side of the index card and make a cut. Cut from the fold toward the open end of the index card and stop about a quarter of an inch from the end. Then, do this again on the left side of the card. Now, unfold the note card and bend down the two pieces that you just cut. So you should have a big piece in the middle with a fold in it, along with two thin flaps on the sides, like this. Next, we're going to cut along that fold so that the index card looks like a set of open doors. Who's in there? It's you. Hi, how's it going? Now, fold the index card back together, but this time, hold the open end toward you, not the folded end, or the former folded end that is now the cut end. And it is time for some more cutting. Make a cut about a quarter inch from the right edge of the center section. This time, cut from the open end to the fold almost all the way to the end. Flip the card over and do the same thing on the other side. Now, flip it over and do the same thing, You're basically cutting a zigzag all the way across the paper now. Doesn't have to be perfect, doesn't have to be beautiful, just like everything in life. If you make any mistakes, that's why you have the tape. Once you are done, you should be able to unfold the index card and stretch it out into a loop that is big enough to step through. I could probably fit through this. I might need a couple more inches, but you could probably fit through it. <laughs> This illusion is actually based on some basic math. I was able to step through the index card because I increased its perimeter. An object's perimeter is the distance around the edge of it. For example, if I wanted to build a fence around a park, I would need to know the perimeter of the park to know how long my fence would be. If you used a 4x6 index card in your experiment, it started with a perimeter of 20 inches. But then, as you cut the card, it turned into a big, thin loop with a much bigger perimeter. Eventually, the perimeter was so big that you could step through the middle of the card. Thank you for experimenting with me.